Okay, guys, what's up, YouTubers? This is your guy, Mr. Evaluator. So, what I'm going to really be doing, I'm going to be severely, sorry about that, severely debunking your favorite villain's video, All Might versus Captain America. And it's not going to take me long to do that, so I'm going to really go with this. Now, it has not been shown throughout any of the Marvel comics that Captain America was literally able to keep up and fight anybody that was equally insane as him, okay? Just because he beat She-Hulk, just because he stopped a blow from Thor, just because he stopped a blow from Hercules, beat Thor, uh, possibly, you know, even got with uh, Iron Man and any of the top tiers and even fought Incredible Hulk and literally told the Incredible Hulk he was holding back and literally uh, beat Deadpool and all of this other stuff does not literally say that he could beat All Might because... All Might will literally beat everyone Captain America has ever held back and literally fought with. Okay, so first of all, let's get this point out of the way. Captain America was literally able to do that because the super soldier serum that he is enhanced with is literally beyond superhuman. Okay, so whatever limitation it literally brings Captain America to... It just only puts him above the superhuman. Why? Because most superhuman, like Gamora, yeah, like Gamora, it takes really periods and periods and periods of time, long time, long periods before she gets tired. It may even be a whole month before she actually gets tired. But obviously, with Captain America not being fatigued and doesn't ever getting tired, really puts him above Gamora because of his fatigue. So as I said that this chemical they endorsed in his body put him above the superhuman peak in this entire universe. Now Gamora like yeah even even with that like Gamora's strength feat he'd probably be above that because he was actually training with 15 tons right. Yeah, training with D-Man, bench pressing 15 tons, and he was at least exercising with 20 tons. But if you can find that panel, please comment below so I can link and use that for future references. All in all, All Might is way too fast. He's way too strong for Captain America. This is the problem in the video. All Might has fought Nomu, and Nomu was equally strong with him in strength feet and in speed and all. He was literally made to actually fight and beat and beat All Might at his full strength, at his full power, utilizing one for all. But during that battle, All Might literally upscaled his power, amplified his power, brought all brought Nomu to his limitation and literally beat him. And I basically watched the series and literally evaluated every single punch he was literally blowing to him. So the problem with this is that when All Might utilizes one for all, every single punch that he was delivering to Nomu basically went through like that vibration of his punches, the force of his punches went through the shock absorption, right? It went through the shock absorption and it also went through his healing factor eruption well rup yeah rupturing the healing factor in the shock absorption which literally allowed him to bypass his healing factors while punching him and his uh a shock absorption which literally um, allowed him to punch him in the sky now uh captain america's shield is vibranium mixed up with some type of metal and that allows the punches and nullifies away the punches literally all might's power right one for all could be utilized what he did with Nomu, he could do with captain america's shield he could punch captain america's shield so hard the the force and the force of that punch will literally go right at the vibration Go at the absorption of the vibration and literally rupture the shield and like severely damage it.
like he did with normal. This is how the power of one for all is literally utilized. It's to severely damage whatever scale of power all my brings to. And not to also mention, like Captain America, Nomu had an impressive healing factor, but every bit of those punches he was delivering at Nomu, which he will be giving only one punch to Captain America, he will severely rupture and damage his healing factor. Like he will be hitting him so hard, he, there will be no way for him to regenerate from any of those punches. Tell me something, people. If you have shock absorption and you have a healing factor and you're equally matched with somebody, would they literally be able to beat you at their power? No. Because you could regenerate from their punches, right? And you could basically absorb their punches. You could absorb their punches and heal from their punches. That's too powerful. Captain America has not ever fought anybody like that. He has not ever fought anybody that was equal to his power, bro. Literally. Even if he has the shield, he was not able to fight anybody at his power, at his standard. There's nowhere throughout the whole MCU or the Marvel comics that it showed that Captain America fought somebody that is just like him, that doesn't ever get fatigued. That's why it kind of really puts him above any other superhuman in the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if you know, and if you read Marvel comics very well, it should not take a rocket scientist to figure that not what gives Captain America being the best strategist and the best tactician is, is because of his fatigueness, because he doesn't ever get fatigued. And the problem with that, that's what kind of even makes Batman above him because Batman used different fighting methods. So for those of you who uh, don't know, go to the bottom of my YouTube channel and see Batman versus Captain America and you will hear and see how Batman will literally be able to take down uh, Captain America and Gamora and many others that are also on the ground level. <clears throat> And you'll also find out how Bane, and I've also basically uploaded a video how Bane would literally be able to beat Captain America. So also keep in mind, put that very below. But obviously, Captain Captain America is just not able to literally beat All Might. All Might, and literally All Might even stated, it took 300 punches in his weak form. While he was weak to beat Nomu, 300 punches. When he was injured and he was weak, and he still beat him, one for all literally gave him, he literally utilized, like, amped his powers when he was weak. He does not, and keep in mind, All Might does not have a healing factor, but he is able to damage and rupture people with regeneration, with healing factor, and shock absorption. So he did that with Nomu, he could do that with Captain America and his shield. He could rupture Captain America's shield. And he said out of his own mouth, in his in his prime days, he would literally took in he would literally take in Nomu out with three punches. With three punches. He would have took him out with three punches. So if he fought Captain America, who isn't equivalent to Nomu in any way, right, as far as matching all my speed, but no, forget about I said that, let's just say that he is equivalent to Nomu, then that basically means him being equivalent to Nomu and being, uh, so say, much better, like, literally should put him above Nomu, so it doesn't mean that he'll beat Captain America. I mean, it doesn't mean that he'll beat All Might. So All Might a one shot Captain America, even having no more capabilities on top of his and especially not getting fatigued. So because he doesn't get fatigued and All Might does get fatigued, then it's going to push him to the limit. It's going to push All Might to the limit to where he's going to utilize enough of power that will put a giant crater in the earth and instead using that crater on the earth he's going to use that to rupture Captain America he's going to punch his shield he's going to rupture the absorption in it he's going to break Captain America's arm and his healing factor and he's going to rupture that healing factor and just throw him out with one single final blow and one single punch all in all Captain America does not stand a chance 
against All Might in any way or any form or any fashion. Your favorite villain was wrong. He was wrong in every way and every reason. He stated why and how Captain America will be All Might. He was wrong. He was wrong. He was wrong. No move represents Captain America, at least in the strength and speed way. He represents Captain America. And with All Might punching him that hard, and in his prime days, all it took is three hits to knock that guy out, he would knock all Captain America out with one punch. There was no way in a literal sense Captain America would ever keep up with All Might. And the reason, and the reason because of that is because of One for All, how he could pretty much utilize his powers like, there will be no way. And just to let you know, right, that, like I said before, Captain America beat Thor, come, stopped a blow from Hercules, is because he does not get fatigue. He doesn't get fatigue, okay? And that basically goes to show me, as I've been looking to find somebody that is just like Captain America who doesn't ever get fatigue, who doesn't ever get fatigued, bro. And as far as I'm concerned, like Captain America was beaten by some dude named Death or whoever, but he has not fought anybody that is equivalent with him and same as his power, right? She-Hulk does not count as e being equivalent to Captain America, nor does Thor, nor does Spider-Man, nor does any one of them. None of them are equivalent to Captain America. Why? Because that super soldier serum that was endorsed in his body was literally made to be beyond the superhuman capabilities. So, obviously, with him not getting fatigued, he's above the average superhuman. Like, the average superhuman, according to the Marvel Universe, does get fatigued, but it takes a very, 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 very long time before they get fatigued. But they get fatigued. And Gamora is a very prime example of what the average superhuman is. Captain America is above her because he doesn't get fatigued. But all in all, uh, like I say, is that... All Might will beat Thor. He will one-shot Hercules. He will literally beat the Hulk, right? And he doesn't even have the hold back. He doesn't even have to use his full strength. He will punch the Hulk and just take the Hulk out. So there's no way in a literal sense, like, if the Hulk, if Captain America was holding back from the Hulk, well, the Hulk does get fatigued, but it takes very, 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 very long time before he gets fatigued. But Captain America, being a tactician and also not getting fatigued, puts him above uh, the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. And that does not make him equivalent to the Incredible Hulk, nor does it make the Incredible Hulk equal to All Might, because the Incredible Hulk does get angry, and gets angry, gets angry, and the anger he gets, he gets stronger, but it does not mean that he becomes more strategic and more tactical and starts thinking. Hulk is based on rage, so no, he is nowhere equivalent to All Might. When All Might gets in a situation, he begins to think with himself thinks for himself, look at his strategies, look at his plots, look at his plans, what can and what can he not do to bypass his opponent. So, all in all, All Might destroys and one-shots Captain America. The shield represents the defense of Nomu, so he ruptures and destroys the absorption the absorption in the shield, damaging the shield, breaking it and shattering it into pieces, and literally rupturing Captain America's healing factor with one single punch and basically annihilating him, knocking Captain America out, putting him unconscious in a state of a coma. There will be no way in a literal sense Captain America will literally stand a chance in, come in, in fighting All Might. No way possible. All Might is way too good. He's way too powerful. He's stronger. He's literally stronger than um, 
What's his name? He's literally stronger than the Incredible Hulk. He he will beat the Incredible Hulk. He will beat Gamora. He will literally even take Thanos himself. He will literally take Thanos himself, dude. And like in a Marvel comic, it took Captain America, Iron Man, and the Hulk to take on uh, Thanos. But then again, I'm not even going to say it like that. But if Thanos was literally able to... That means Captain America should be able to beat Thanos because Thanos doesn't. Thanos gets fatigued, but Captain America doesn't get fatigued. But if he's more strategic and more tactical than Captain America, then obviously he will beat Captain America. But if Captain America in any Marvel comic or any panel was shown that he beat uh, 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 Thanos, then obviously he kind of really, then All Might literally beats um, Thanos with no problem. He just takes him out with one shot. So the punches All Might could use to destroy an entire city block is the amount of punches he could basically use to destroy that shield and knock out um, All Might. And, and yeah, and knock out Captain America. He can basically even punch him and severely damage and rupture his healing factor. This pr alone will probably put, will probably even kill Captain America, as shown with normal. So, as I would like to even confirm that, you know, your favorite villain knew what he was talking about with Captain America, but did not knew enough when it came to All Might. So, throughout that whole video and evaluating it, he knew more about Captain America than he did any about, you know, uh, yeah, what's his name? All Might you know, and his capability, and, you know, how he utilizes his power, he missed that real big, so, if you guys have any questions or comments below, leave a link, and honestly, personally, sometimes, he do know what he's talking about, but when it comes to different characters, and people with different capabilities, I really think that your favorite villain has a hard time scaling, so this is why he kind of sticks only with the manga, and anything that he's pretty much unsure about, he goes with the surface of the layer, looking at their feet. Oh, this guy is able to do this. This guy's able to do that. So that's what kind of makes that guy beat that guy because this happened. So, and even Mr. Freeze, the guy that fought Captain America, I mean... Even though it was shown that All Might, well, this is how All for One is literally utilized, um... Midoriya, Midoriya was fighting a guy. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, guys. I'm up in here at the workplace. So, um, if you guys have any questions, any comments below, if you guys have any questions or comments below, leave a link. I'm about to go to work today. Um, sorry about that, guys. Excuse that. But anyways, I'm going to go to work today. Uh, I have any questions or comments, leave them below. Peace.